AI can control your computer. What? And here what we are doing, we are going to ask Claude Sonnet that, hey, search on the YouTube about the latest Claude Sonnet 3.5 computer use video, maximize the window, mute the volume, and if there are any ad, then skip that ad. Let's see how this no, is going to perform. No, so no. this is happening because of the latest release of Claude Sonnet 3.5 and Claude Heroku 3.5, with the computer use. That means basically these models can control your computer. And how it's doing, you can see right here. It has opened the Firefox, now it's going to search for the YouTube, then it's going to search for the video and do all the steps we have defined. How it's doing? It's actually taking a screenshot of every step it performed. Then it analyze the screenshot and take the action according to the screenshot and the things in the screenshot. You can see it's actually using the tool calling feature of the AI and then after that it performs some action according to the given uh, action input. Now this can actually click move the mouse and do a lot of things. So see, it found the video, it's now seeing that here is an ad running, it's going to click on that skip ad. It just scrolled down. You have, have you noticed that scrolling things? It just scrolled and see, now it's going to skip the ad. So first of all, uh, oh, it's moving to another channel. That should not be the case. It should move back. Uh, it clicked wrong in in my opinion you see it just got back and it says that i see redirected to a channel let me go back to the video and try again oh wow that's superb that's really powerful thing so it's actually doing see it muted and the only one step remaining is maximizing the video and it's going to do very soon. And finally, you can see it maximizes the video and then it's going to stop and saying that, hey, I have done all the tasks you said. And see, every step is done by AI. No human interaction. That's called the computer use. Welcome to Bitfumes. I'm your host, Sarthak, and this video is all about the computer use new release by Entropic AI, the Claude Sonnet Claude Heroku 3.5 release and that's going to be the killer. So before moving forward, if you have not subscribed to this Bitfilm YouTube channel, go and hit subscribe because here you get really amazing videos just like this one. Okay, so here, these two models are really great. Claude Sonnet was the amazing, best in class video for, especially for the coding and for analyzing things. But now they have the upgrade version of 3.5 Sonnet and the Heroku, their new and really amazing, faster, cheaper model, the Heroku one. But the real thing they have introduced is the groundbreaking new capability called computer use. It's in public beta, so do not try to use it in the production, but the API is available. You can start writing things and creating something like what humans do or human interact with the computer. So at this stage, it is still experimental. Keep this in mind, very, very important. At times, cumbersome and error prompt. I have tried it and it's just, really really frustrating sometimes it just keeping on the loop of things and not moving forward so that's that's a uh, initial stage but i'm sure that later on this is going to be perfect so the companies like asana canva uh, cognition doodash replit and browser companies are already exploring the new capabilities of these AI computer use things. And Replit has a really, really mind-blowing idea to use the computer use and UI navigation to develop a key feature that evolved app as they build the Replit agent product. That's crazy, that's crazy. But the thing is like, how do we try it out? Where is the demo? So here, if you go on this entropic quick starts guide then you will find this computer use folder so inside that you will go and you will find the readme file where 
it's given everything you need to know for the computer use but wait you don't have to read i am here so basically i have told everything what this is doing but how you can use it basically you need the docker if you don't have the docker then just go to docker download and then download the docker desktop according to your operating system once you have done that then you have the docker in your computer then once you have the docker then use the api key from the entropic and then create a new container run the container and then it's going to work so how it's going to perform you need to use this thing so you can just copy this if you are using the entropic api by the way then go to the terminal paste it and make sure that you use the api key directly here so like I'm going to paste the API key, here's the API key and now I'm going to hit enter. So it's going to download the image if not available in your system then it's going to start the container and then once done then you will be able to visit localhost 8080 like this. So you can see here is the UI but it's still not connected, yep so port is ready and yep localhost 8080 is ready and now if i refresh here's the thing okay so let's start very very simple thing open firefox that's the thing i want this uh, cloud to perform on my computer so it just took the screenshot and it found that hey there is a uh, firefox icon i'm going to click that icon that's the powerful thing cool it's great it's great it's nice i'm going to say okay um, search for bitfumes.com and, uh, and 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 what and uh, another tab search for bitfumes youtube channel okay this is going to be the next step once you open the browser and then you perform some task by writing the the thing you want to search on the search bar so it's going to search for bitfumes.com directly Okay, that's great. This is done and now next it should uh, create another tab and search for the Bitfilms YouTube channel. You can see it has created a new tab, Bitfilms YouTube channel. Got it. That's the power of this uh, computer use. But not just this. Let me do something crazy. Okay, after this, let's ask this to do something on the Excel. So I said like open the Excel and then add 10 marketing ideas to market my product called Mizo Hub, which is a Laravel deployment tool for server management tool. And now let's see how this is going to perform. It need to open the Excel first, then generate the 10 idea, write it down on that Excel sheet. Let's see how this is going to perform. So first it opened the Excel sheet. That's really great. And now let's see how this is going to create the content for us, the strategy for marketing. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Okay. So it's start clicking on the boxes, but oops, it just clicked somewhere else. Oh no, it, it was right. So marketing strategy ideas first create marketing content series. Oh, it's not in the proper, uh, like, it's not in the series it's just writing everything in one block okay that's considerable it's in beta release so we can consider that it has actually saved the file and boom that's really amazing so what do you think about this kind of computer use tool which you can use to automate your daily task and if you have any idea just let me know in the comment section and if you want me to generate or create something using this computer use let me know in the comment section I'm going to create exactly that just for you because your this recommendation your suggestions are really valuable and obviously if you have not yet subscribed to Bitfilms YouTube channel go and subscribe to Bitfilms YouTube channel because that's the motivation and power for me and we will meet in the next video till then goodbye